Hi everybody, great to be coming to you from Fresno, California. Mark Miller joined by two-time Olympic gold medalist and just a man that had a lot to do with uh, a lot of, lot of history in track and field. Bob Mathias, when you talk about pole vaulting, you're talking about running down a runway. You got a big pole in your hand, you got to go up over this bar. You're in the air. Uh, back then the pits were different. I know they had just sand out there a lot of times or hay or I mean it was, it's, it took a lot of courage. As you progressed with different types of poles, the technique that you used uh, from the gill or from the metal pole was the same technique that you used with the fiberglass uh, pole. Uh, they were exactly the same. Uh, the, uh, the material of the pole changed, um, at least for me, you know, from metal to a fiberglass. But the technique was exactly the same. You know, the, even the uh, Gwen Smith, who won in 48 at, uh, I think it was 14.8 or 15 feet, <clears throat> had to land on sand that was absolutely flat with the surface. So the toughest part of his jump was landing, because you could break your wrist, your ankles, your legs, uh, if, if you landed wrong. And 52, the, uh, they mixed a little sawdust with the sand and made it, you know, a couple of feet maybe off the ground. But you still couldn't land on your back. You still had to have the same technique to go over, so you could always land on your feet. Otherwise, you'd uh, you know you'd have one jump and it would be over. <laughs> you'd kill yourself. So using the fiberglass pole and taking a look at, you know, everybody wanted to go higher, but the higher you went, the more dangerous it was, and you never thought of, at the time, changing the technique or anything like that. You just were doing what you were taught at the time. That's right. Uh, well, even Dutch Warmer Dam, uh, a few years earlier, I think, what, the 44s, uh, uh, he had the world record at 15-7, 15-8, indoor and outdoor world record. Uh, he had to land feet first in sand. So for a long time, uh, you know, was, even the best in the world had to land from, you know, 15 and a half feet in sand. Visit us at How to Pole Vault. Dot com. And for further in-depth airstrike pole vault information, please subscribe to our How to Pole Vault YouTube channel.